the tape for this heavyweight fight. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the Haitian sensation, Neil Magny. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Chusier Formiga. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, early round action here as we get yet another look at Neil Magny, a true promotional workhorse, one of the winningest graduates in UFC history. But he's not resting on his balls. He believes he has a favorable matchup in front of him here tonight. And he said, whether it's grappling, striking, or wrestling, I believe I should have the upper hand. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going. Now. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Oh, and so now he lands another combination. So it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming by. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves up? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Well, for me, you've got the perennial flyweight contender type, but you see the striking is now starting to catch up with the ground. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice uppercut. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Well-placed kick there by Magni. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do it. Oh, man, it ain't to Kembe Matumbo, but he is blocking all these shots coming. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. He landed another nice leg kick there. Doing a really good job of using that reach advantage. Oh, and he tags him with the... Oh, man, what a connection right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. Oh, so he is on beat street right now. He's seeing three birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Combinations here. One oh, oh, fight. Both of these guys are trying to pitch. This is a crazy hand pace. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Final seconds of round one. Magny is bleeding from the mouth now. He cut there on his lip. At the uh, uh, round two next. All right, so that's the end of the round. Oh Potential adversity God. here. He's got a cut on his really cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus fight. becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, finish. shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit in this position, and it's all about now where is the cut? Is it above the eye? Is it below the eye? But every time you get hit in that area, it is going to sting, and the bleeding will then cause issues to your sight. He's got to change something. Ready. Second it. round here. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline 
to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and enforcing it. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is. Formiga's trying to get the triangle here. Let's see if he can close the show. Oh, oh somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Three minutes now to go in this one. John, to have a guy live in a game plan and use it so effectively is very surprising. But with this guy, he's so smart, he's so disciplined, you kind of expect things out of the norm. Tonight, we see a body attack that we haven't seen in the octagon before. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Ooh, big shot land. Well, perhaps it's a high point IQ, perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision, because you can see his opponent starting to paw at it. You see it starting to take an effect. It's messing with him mentally. For him, he's got to continue to attack that area and hope that it just keeps getting worse and worse. Oh, and he caught the grip. from the mountain. Oh, oh, we might get a stoppage here. So the round is over mercifully for his opponent. Multiple knockdowns there. Big, big round from Magni. Now listen, I want you to stay sharp. Don't get suckered into that crap. I want you to get out there. You ready to fight? You ready? So here we go. Five minutes remain in the fight. He's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. And he's back. <laughs> he might get a stoppage here soon. He passed the half guard. Get the ball here. point right now. He's got here. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final. This man is landing brutal ground and pound. He's going after that cut over and over again. And every time he lands, the cut gets worse. Find a way that you can recover. 